which we are launching today, sets out to construct 100,000 affordable housing units nationally. Given the sector's importance in addressing social needs and its role in the local economy, the Ghanaian government has identified affordable housing as a top priority. It is critical to recognize the importance of sustainability and the potential of green finance when discussing affordable housing. Housing is specifically mentioned in Ghana's strategy for meeting the sustainable development goals. Sustainability brings multiple benefits to housing projects, not only in terms of the build itself, but also in attracting subsidies and lower financing costs at both wholesale and retail levels. Government of Ghana has secured an amount of $5 billion from United Nations Office for Project Services ANOPS, for the construction of 100,000 affordable houses in the country. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. The UNOPS is fully funding the $5 billion project with the government of Ghana only providing the land. Madam Frida Primpe, the Deputy Minister for Works and Housing in the 26th of November 2019 interview with Class FM described the agreement as a dream come true. According to her, one of the main mandates of the Works and Housing Ministry is to provide affordable houses for Ghanaians. Therefore, the agreement is going to go a long way provide houses for a lot of Ghanaians. This housing deal is a dream come true. I've been following up with their local partners in the United Nations office for a long time. One of our mandates is to ensure that we provide affordable houses for the good people of Ghana, she said. She reiterated that the UNOPs are going to sink a whopping sum of $5 billion into this housing project. Government is not going to pay a dime on it. They are going to pre-finance the project. Our part of the deal is only to provide land and land acquisition in Ghana is quite a challenge. And as a ministry, we've taken it upon ourselves to acquire land so that our investors would not find any difficulties securing lands for this project. She further shared that the project is going to create a lot of jobs both directly and indirectly to the citizens of this country. She added that there is also going to be a transfer of technology as the UNOPS is looking at setting up their machinery in Ghana. They are looking to move the country away from the brick and tile age and incorporate some new technologies into the housing industry. Executive Director and UN Under Secretary General Gret Farimo, who played a major role in the agreement, said the reason UNOPS chose Ghana was that the country has become a shining star in Africa and also showing strong signs of economic growth and prosperity. He said Ghana has enjoyed political stability in the subregion, hence has made the country an attractive investment destination, and for that reason UNOPS wants to invest in the real estate sector in the country. President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo, who witnessed the signing of the agreement, thanked the UN team for the initiative and stated that the huge housing deficit in Ghana was of great concern to him. His Excellency Nana Addo emphasized a country like Ghana with a housing deficit of over 1 million was unacceptable, hence any initiative that will seek to reduce the deficit was welcome. Estates in Ghana have seen a $5 billion influx in the creation of affordable estates in the country. The project, which will be entirely funded by the United Nations Office for Project Services ANAFS, is expected to take between 5 and 8 years to complete. The starting price of a unit is $27,500, to be paid by mortgage over a 30-year period and is expected to generate 100,000 direct and indirect jobs over the period. The Vice President of Ghana, Dr. Alhaji Mahamudu Bawumia, has broken the ground for the construction of 100,000 affordable housing units across the country. 
Dr. Bawumia described the project as the game changer in reducing Ghana's housing deficit, which he said stood at 1.7 million. Dr. Bawumia said, housing which is the next most important human need after food and clothing but inability to meet the housing needs of the citizenry in the past has created a huge backlog, estimated to be in excess of 1,700,000 units. Whilst the housing supply requirement is about 150,000 units per annum, the vice president said, less than 40% of that figure is achieved annually. Ghana's local housing sector was confronted with numerous challenges, including a lack of affordable finance options for both developers and citizens, a lack of affordable properties, and a lack of affordable mortgage options, among others. As a result, there is a significant gap between the demand for housing and the availability of viable and sustainable housing options for hardworking Ghanaians. Dr. Bawumia said that the UNOPS housing scheme, which is being replicated in Kenya, India, and across the Caribbean, would help augment the housing projects the government of Ghana was undertaking. The project, which aims at providing decent and affordable houses for Ghanaians, is in line with the government's policy. The government of Ghana had fully embraced the project and hopes the same level of enthusiasm is demonstrated by the private sector in supporting other developmental programs, with Ghana playing a facilitating role and the UN agency solely funding the project. Dr. Bowumia said the program arrangement does not impose any financial liability on government and requires no government guarantees. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.